All right, good morning, everybody. It is June 16th, 2018. Uh, today, I'm just going to take a more in depth look at what I have already been looking at at Mauna Loa, Kilauea, and the Helena uh, fault system and the Helena slump over here. Well, this is just known as Helena, but this is the area they feel like it's slipping. Um, now, before I start this, I've had people ask. Uh, someone asked me if I'd ever do like a live feed video like show my face while I'm talking and doing this type of stuff And no, probably not. I feel I, I, I'm I only like hear myself talk. I'll be honest. It feels kind of weird um, But I, I I mean I pulled a picture off my Facebook so you can at least kind of see what I look like here the guy that's talking to you So that that's the man behind the microphone right now but anyways, so We're gonna get started over here. I noticed one thing that I've been trying to raise awareness to people, when you go on the USGS website, you assume if you use all these little tools, hey, you're going to be able to do some research. Well, no, that's not the fact. That, that's not true at all. Okay, so you, you see this one, like, oh, hey, it pulled up something, right? Right. Well, it's dated all the way to April of 2018, so that's useless. Well, what about the one next to it? Well, I can't even compare the chart next to it because it's broke. Well, maybe the ones that, up oh, broke. Huh, broke, doesn't work, doesn't work, doesn't work, oh, oh, okay, well, this is just as old, so, you know, information like that is completely useless, I don't know why it's here, I don't know why it's not updated, now, I do know there's the lava flow area, which runs from right here, all the way down to, like, over here, and there's another one over here. So that may may be kind of hard to get over here in this area. So I I, I mean I kind of understand, but at the same time I don't because I need to be able to research things like that. Um, so before I really start talking about each thing, um, we'll I'll we'll kind of label everything. This is Helena. <clears throat> this is the Helena fault system right here in this area, and I've done uh, I've done a couple videos about this. So please take the time to go back and watch the other ones. I have maps. I have all types of stuff you can look at here's Kilauea here's Mauna Loa okay we'll start up here at Mauna Loa um, I had I said on a comment a couple days ago I had, this is a brand new gas emission I looked back at my previous videos this gas emission was not there a week ago which kind which is not good and I'll tell you why because that's how I was able to predict that the Kilauea greater caldera was falling in itself it was off this gas emission I saw the gas emission the day before we had a big earthquake by the volcano house and uh, which ultimately struck in like the whole motion everything now everything's really starting to give away hardcore now at Kilauea but it wasn't really prior till then I mean it was collapsing in on itself when the gas emission before uh, appeared but um yeah it's um it's really getting bad now at Kilauea so when we look at gas emissions a gas emission um, volcanic gases can be harmful to health vegetation and infrastructure Magma contains dissolved gases, which, which provide the driving force that causes most volcanic eruptions. As magma rises towards the surface and pressure decreases, gases are released from the liquid portion of the magma and continue to travel upward and are eventually released into the atmosphere. Okay, So when we see gas emissions, we know there's lava underneath it. It's pushing up. It's fracturing what's above. And in turn, that, that will cause earthquakes. That will cause us at fractures. And... That's what that gas emission is from. That's new. That is not something that was there last week. Something is pushing. There's magma underneath that's coming up that's fracturing down there. Um, unfortunately, USGS doesn't allow you to research anywhere past that. You you can't actually look into the monitors. You can't figure out anything like that. So that's another thing I don't like. Um, we covered the tilt meters. So tilt meters, they will tell us how much the land is essentially tilting. You know, if it's slouching, which way. Um, GPS will tell us if it's moving left, right, up, down. It gives us that information. So these these two tools are very crucial for volcano and land def uh, land information. And just you want these whenever you're tracking earthquakes and volcanoes on your map active, so you can pay attention to them um, when they're active and when they're actually accurate. So where we're at right now, these aren't working. So what we do, and what I've been doing, I haven't seen any other channel do this or provide this map. Uh, these are known as INSARs. They are, so if we look at the bottom, I'll tell you how to read it real quick. The darker the blue is, that means it's furthest, furthest away from the satellite, okay? Or that means it's going down. That means the land is dropping down, okay? So 
the redder it is, it means it's pushing up. So it's getting closer to the satellite. Okay. So this is June 1st to the, uh, to the 7th. We're just going to be looking at this one right now. And so pay attention. This is part of Helena, but it's not part. The Helena fault system's right here. Helena's all right here. This is another part. This is not actually part of the Helena because Helena ends like right here. Okay. It's, it raised over 75 millimeters. And that's pretty drastic. Because if you compare it to the day prior, where it didn't raise at all, from 529 to 604, look in the same area, there's no movement. We come in first to the sixth, uh, it's moving. Okay, so we come to the 4th to the 10th. Eh, things are settling down, but the picture I want you to look at now, instead of looking down here, we're going to look up here. Mauna Loa. Okay? Gas emissions. This is about when the gas emissions came out, I want to say. No, it was around the uh, 13th, so I take that back. But we can notice why. So you see all this. Some of this is slumping. The other of it, it's not really moving, but there's something going on. Okay? And it will become more evident here in a second. So I look at Mauna Loa. Mauna Loa is just, you know, and which makes sense. The whole caldera is falling in on itself, but you can really see the areas of which are going, which are deforming. Okay. Uh, this is the seventh to the thirteenth. This is the most recent one I can give you, and it's the scariest one in my opinion. Look, this is the area we looked at that had raised up a ton, and now it's dropping a ton. That's not good at all. That's not a good sign. If you look at the stages, there's four stages that are known as the Helena slump process. And then the, I, I said when I made the video, I thought that we were either in the second or third stage from looking at the models. And we're seeing a ton. But this is not Helena. As I said, I mean, this whole world's about right here is Helena. But down here, this is not known as Helena. Okay? I don't. I, it starts with a K, I believe. Um, but regardless, it's lifting, it's slipping. So, and then if we come up, look at Mauna Loa's difference as well, okay? So if I scroll up and show you before picture, say, look at the defined, almost like a defined circle around it. And, we, and you know, so, and then we come down. Here's where it was. So, here, see that little circle? So I can show you one more time. We're looking for that little circle to line through. Here it is again right there. Look at what's around it. So we've had ground, this over here is sliding. It was just either going down or it's moving. This is going up. This is going up. This whole backside's dropping. And um, if we pull up the earthquake map, I wish, like I said, on my computer, it lags just, I mean, up a storm if I try to do a full, uh, full filter. So if your computer can, for some reason, handle it, I think mine just may be trash, unfortunately. Um, so I come to Global Incident, and this is, I just updated this earlier. Um, almost every single volcano, or not volcano, but earthquake is from Hawaii. And it's all within the last two hours. 4.9s, we have, uh, 4.9 I believe is the biggest one I've seen now. Oh, that was in Chile, I lied, so it's not even in Hawaii. But there was a 4.9 in Chile today, two hours ago. Um, but we have had, I want to say I saw a 3 earlier. And um, yeah, the three, there's a 3.2, 3.8 in Hawaii, which are very, those are big quakes. And we also... Um, one thing I've taught my viewers, one thing I want you to look for when you are searching for the depths, we want to look for the fives and the ten depths, okay? The five to ten, and we want to look for location because whenever uh, my last video I showed you um, a giant magma chamber burning beneath the Hawaiian Islands, closer to the surface than any other magma chamber yet measured, it is as little as 1.9 to 2.5 miles, so three to four kilometers is what we're looking underground. Okay, but I go up to 10 just in case. So, and the model showed, so if you can imagine, here's here's the two volcanoes right here. If you, if you did like a cut in the earth right here and exposed all the crust and everything, all the way down to the mantle, there's a core, uh, or not the core, but like the, like the main magma plume. So it goes up through tunnels. Some of it diverts this way towards Mauna Loa, the rest of it diverts this way. But in the middle, it shares. They share the exact same plume. And that's why whenever you see earthquakes done, if I go last, you can kind of tell when magma moves and stuff. And um, but you gotta, it's kind of hard to figure out the exact location of where it's happening. But I want, I know, I'm gonna say about right here though is where I've been looking, is where I think the magma chambers are at, where it's where. 
where it sends it off through the town uh, through the tunnels um okay so we're gonna go over here I'm not gonna really talk about this I'm gonna show you kind of what I'm talking about this is how they share uh, this is an older model because the newer models they, I mean they're connected but as you can see down here this is the mantle and it goes up through the lithosphere up into the oceanic crust crust <laughs> and the mat here's the main magma chamber for each ones and then we also have out here the Lohi seamount so if you see volcanoes not volcanoes but if you see um, earthquakes and stuff going out here that's why there's a it, it's a it's on those magma plume as well magma chamber or whatever you want to call it um, but I will link that as well if you want to go over this website and the information on it. And this kind of goes over how, you know, because as the hotspot moves, because each one of these volcanoes, or each one of these islands have been made by this hotspot. The hotspot used to be here, formed that, and then the plate shifted, shifted, made that one, shifted, shifted, made this one, and now it's here. And, and eventually it's going to move, 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 and make, start making a new one. And that's just how they're made. Um, as I said, I want to, I can't. I wish I could go more in depth with a lot of these meters, but unfortunately I can't. Um, I can teach you how to, what to look for, stuff like that, and give you certain tools to use if you can't use the USGS, and that's about all I can do from my, from where I'm at. Um, however, as I said, pay attention to these NSARs, they're very important, and um, that'll kind of let you know what the line of slump's doing, what, other, what the volcanoes are doing, because ground deformation it goes hand in hand with magma and volcanic activity and seismic activity okay they're, they're all together in the same they're one big happy family so that's what you're looking for you want to look for ground deformation but other than that that's all i have for you guys right now um if you like i said if you like what i'm doing just drop a like if you um if you have any like ideas for future videos feel free to drop a comment i'm more than willing to look at it and maybe do some in-depth research about it um, but that's all I have for today, guys. I'll talk to you later.